Okay, the next chapter we're going to be looking at is the payroll chapter. And the payroll chapter is pretty self-explanatory. The chapter does an excellent job of explaining the different concepts and terms. You need to make sure that you go through the chapter and understand all these different terms and how you calculate payroll. Now, I'm going to start with gross pay. Let's say that you get paid uh, $10 an hour and you work 40 hours this week. So that would be 40 times $10, $400 that you've earned. That would be your gross pay. Now, that's not what you're actually going to get, though, at the end of the week. They're going to subtract out certain things. And here are some common things that get subtracted out. Income taxes, federal income taxes. Uncle Sam's going to want their portion. Uh, the state may take out a portion, too. Okay, And so when I say take out a portion, your employer takes that out, and then your employer will submit it later. Okay, The government doesn't actually just go in and take it. Your employer takes the money out, saves it, and then on a monthly basis or so, submits it back to whoever is supposed to get that money. FICA Social Security. Now, FICA Social Security, this is for retirement. This is when you retire, um, hopefully, there'll be money there left someday for you to get paid. But people who get, get retired are retired and get Social Security. This is where this money is coming from. And right now, it's taken at 6.2%. So if you're uh, getting paid um, $400, you take 6.2%, and that's what would be deducted or withheld from your paycheck. FICA Medicare is taken out to pay for um, health benefits associated with those people who are retired. So it helps them with their health insurance. And it's at 1.45%. Okay, now let me point out there's a limitation, there's maximum amount for FICA Social Security, but there's no maximum for Medicare. Right now, as of 2009, for uh, FICA Social Security, the maximum is 106800 So if you make $106,800, the total amount of FICA Social Security would be 6.2% of that, whatever that dollar amount is. Okay, so they would take that out of your paychecks over the year. Once you earn more than 106,800 right now, once you earn more than that, then they don't take out any more FICA Social Security. FICA Medicare, there's no limitations. So if you make a million dollars, you earn a million dollars, they're gonna take 1.545% of that, no matter how much you make, there's no limitation. Okay, the next item that I have down here are just other benefits, okay? Because typically, if you're going to have medical or dental or some other type of benefits, typically your, your employer pays some of it, but they oftentimes require you to have a payment also. And so if you have to take out some money out of your paycheck for other benefits, that's going to come out, that's going to be a takeout pay or a withholding from you. Now, once we subtract out all of these items, that gets us to our net paycheck. This is what you're actually going to get paid. Sometimes you'll hear it called, uh, called uh, the take-home amount. Okay, So this is the first part of uh, payroll. You need to make sure you're going to subtract out your income taxes, your FICA Social Security, FICA Medicare. You need to make sure you understand how we subtract those out. And then other benefits. So in your homework problem, whenever it asks you to do this, you should kind of follow the problem. Whatever the problem tells you to do, that's what you have to do. The one you have to be careful with is this FICA Social Security because there is a maximum amount. So if the person that you're calculating the payroll for um, is under $100,000, no sweat because you're just going to take 6.2% of any of that. Okay. Once they earn that year over $106,800, that's the maximum, once they earn over that, then there would be the uh, limitation. You wouldn't be taking out any more money. But if, as the new year starts, then we start all, all over calculating the FICA amounts. Okay. Um, another thing to realize that in your homework, these percentages might not be the percentage. You have to use the percentage that they tell you. So in homework or on test quizzes, whatever the percent they tell you to use, use. I know in the chapter I think they use 6% here, and I forgot what they used here, but I'm pretty sure they're not using 6.2. I think they're using 6. And then I think in one of the homework problems, it may be 6.5%. Whatever percentage they tell you to use, that's the amount that you need to use or the percentage you need to use. Okay, let's erase this and let's go on to the next part. So, what I'm talking about is your paycheck, the employee's paycheck. Now, the employer, you need to remember, the employer also you know, takes these things out and pays for them, but they also match both FICAs. 
they match both FICAs. So what I mean by that is, let's say they took out $50 from your paycheck. When they calculated the FICA Social Security, let's say they took out $50. And let's say when they calculated, they took out $10 from Medicare. Those are just numbers I'm making up, okay? So they're gonna take $50 out for Social Security, $10 out for FICA Medicare. Well, guess what? They're also, they have to match that amount. So then they would also have to pay an additional $50 and an additional $10. So they take this out of your paycheck and they pay it to the government. They take this out of their own bank account and pay that also to the government. So whatever they calculate for you, it's actually being paid twice because it's coming out of your paycheck and the employer's also paying for that. Okay, the employer also pays something called FUDA and SUDA. Federal unemployment and state unemployment. Okay, um, the federal unemployment and state unemployment is paid only by the employer. It's not paid by you. It doesn't come out of your paycheck, okay? And the rates that they use to calculate this uh, come from the governments themselves. So if you're an employer, you will get the rate that you have to pay, that you have to uh, calculate in order to pay back to them, okay? And if you don't lay off very many people or don't fire very many, very many people, your rate's gonna be really low. A it's a when I say rate, it's a percentage of your, your payroll, okay? And if you don't lay off very many people, these rates will be very low. If you're an employer that lays off quite a few people or fires lots of people, then what they say is, well, if you lay off so many people, you have more people getting unemployment because this food and suit is for unemployment purposes. So what they do is they, um, they'll increase these rates for you, okay? So on homework problems or in the chapter, you'll see calculations of this and they'll give you the rates and you'll have to calculate it based off of what they say. Uh, the next part I want to go over is workman's comp. Workman's comp is used where, um, uh, where there's on-the-job injuries. Okay, so if you're the employer, then you would have to purchase workman's compensation insurance. Now, I know here in this state uh, that workman's comp, you can do it through the state fund. The state has a workman's comp compensation insurance policy, or you can get it from an outside agency. Um, they also have workman's comp policies out there that you can purchase, okay? So you should need to look at you and see which one's the best one for your business, okay? But all businesses have to have a workman's comp um, policy and it's for on-the-job uh, injuries. Uh, the next part I wanna go over is pension plans. I'm not gonna go over this in detail. And the main reason is because the chapter actually does a very good job um, describing this. So I make, wanna make sure that you look at this and go into the chapter and read through. They talk about a defined contribution plan. I'm gonna abbreviate, and a defined benefit plan, okay? They're exactly what they say they are. A defined contribution defines how much you're gonna contribute. Defined benefit says how much you're gonna get at the end. Your defined benefit at the end when you're actually retired, okay? So the chapter does a good job of explaining these two things. I want to make sure that you look in the chapter, read through this. It is going to be on your test. So all these concepts that I've gone over today, I may not have gone over in extreme detail. It's because the chapter does a good job. I've just introduced them here on this video. I want to make sure that you go through the chapter, make sure you understand those inside and out. And on the test, these things will be covered. All right, good luck.